I am Miki, and I am joined today uh, not by Zelos, but by two guests. Hey, I, I you might know me from me shouting out this podcast on my channel. I am Wilda Dill, resident Simful Gear expert, which will be what we are talking about today. Uh, you cut me off at the pass. I was going to lead it. Yeah, I was just going to go, we are Simple Gear, motherfuckers. Let's go. <laughs> I think it is not just uh, one of the best anime to come out in the post 2010s but also like the most anime anime to come out in the post 2010s uh, fuck yeah yeah the yes. most anime and like unabashedly unapologetically like just you know anime in your fucking face like i think i think the vibe of of Simple gear is very much in imaishi's wheelhouse but oh it yeah draws on a slightly different set of inspirations right well it yeah kind of it draws it, on it, everything right it, like, it, we're, yeah. everything. we're talking about like uh like this Imaishi stuff and Utena and Rose of Versailles or whatever, there's a lot of tokusatsu influence and Super Robot and even like just action movies in general. And I guess and that's I, like the meta thesis that we've kept developing for Symphony. Not only that it's like a celebration of like a specific kind of otaku art, but also there is like the kind of sense that there's a lot of otaku fiction which has really big ideas about the world, about communication, and it is always very centrally about this topic of like what is hindering people from really connecting with each other. Simple Gear is just the culmination of all of those. All all of these animes that are basically about that, Simple Gear just takes all of them and goes beyond with that message. Uh, there's a strong thesis that in a sense this all this otaku art about the communication breakdown is what we use to communicate a better understanding of each other and a better understanding towards people. Yeah, it is campy as fuck. But what Simpoyer says about this campiness is that we should we should love it, right? <laughs> yeah. Like it's I it's mean, not yeah. something that we should like not enjoy. It, like it's the opposite. It's right. Like, yeah. This well, campiness yeah, use, is what made these, us like, and we should celebrate that. Yeah. They, yeah, they use all these big ideas and like other, you know, great otaku works to up uplift all this like campiness idol magical girl bullshit <laughs> that they use you know all over the place and like exploitative harem shit and and like all that and that's just an incredibly fascinating kind of like synthesis that just to see it work so well together and just to understand like what is the communicative power the commutative capacity of art no matter like if we draw it like high art low art classics non-classics like no just you know because season right. one, season one kind of like, as we said, sets like plants the seeds for the rest of the series. Like a lot of them. Canada is the first um, character which really emphasizes the idea of legacy in the themes of Simple Gear. Because with Canada's death, she leaves a legacy behind for two very important characters that are carrying on. Uh, 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 something from this traumatic event into the future, and this is, this is, I think, crucial to basically everything that happens in this uh, in this first season. And this is also how it ties immediately into the meta thesis of legacy. I, th I, I okay, I wonder, like, when most people watch this show and they like have the ending, and suddenly all this Babylonian shit is brought up with like the Tower of Babel, and the the god like in its anger took the language away, and thus we couldn't communicate anymore. Like, without the knowledge of the other seasons. What the fuck do you even make of this? Are you just like, oh, cool, <laughs> law dump? I don't know. Like At first, I think first season, I was like, why are they talking about this? This just comes out of nowhere. Only then going after watching the entire series, going back to first season, I was like, wait, this is their main thesis. And they just put it there like this. Like they just dump it on you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do we reach another person again? Well, Simple Gear is a very strong thesis. We sing. I fucking... Just... just but it's it's, it's it's the type of sing that comes straight from the heart, right? It's yes, not that's the it's point. Not any song. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, song. Exactly. It's the song in the heart. It's the, yeah. believe in the song in your heart. <laughs> the like the old languages uh, and the lingua franca, right? The universal yeah. language uh, is also very like prominent. They always use words uh, like like the, all their transformation like songs like when they transform their holy chants. Oh, I got it. So, so like the idea is that the Sumerian language is the one that was spoken before God basically gave the punishment of yes, dividing yes. languages and people misunderstood yeah. each other. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Actually, that's really cool. But also because we lost that, uh, humanity created two things to f to keep having a, a universal language, and 
those things are songs and alchemy. And, and if and if we want to talk about like the metafictional angle, that that becomes art in general. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think in a sense it is still all otaku media. Yeah, because, yeah. because that is that is what a like otaku media is about drawing on this vast wealth of of multimedia uh, language yes. that has been developed. Yeah, and True. like the the crossover between like video games and anime and manga and light novels is like a huge facet of 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 like the the otaku anime experience 